Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another three questions in three minutes with our power players. This time we are speaking with our power players in real estate and development. I am very pleased to be joined by Marty Berger, the CEO of Silverstein Properties. Marty, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for having me. So can we talk a little bit more about Silverstein and the mission of the company? What is the mission and how do you see your role in achieving that mission? Sure. So I think at Silverstein, we want to continue to create better versions of our cities where uh, people can live, work, play, eat, entertain themselves. And, you know, we like to provide uh, better experiences for our residents, for our, our office tenants, um, and just continue to, you know, have uh, our, our, our buildings and, and the environments that we create, the communities that we create evolve. Um, so how did you first become involved in real estate? Was there a person or a landmark or a building that really inspired you? Sure. So I was a, a freshman at uh, University of Pennsylvania at the Wharton School, um, and I was finishing my freshman year. And, uh, and I decided instead of uh, renting from the slumlords of Philadelphia, that I would uh, go out and find a, um, a house. Uh, and I found a house just uh, just right off campus, and uh, I bought it uh, using my father's credit. Uh, he was a dentist, wasn't in real estate, didn't know much about real estate, and he co-signed the loan with me, and I fixed up the house into a six-bedroom home and rented to five of my friends and became a landlord, sophomore, junior, and senior year of, uh, of my Penn undergrad years, and, uh, and then sold it my senior year, and that's how I got into real estate. So is there a current project that you're working on now that you're excited to see completed? And what is that project? Well, I would love to complete the World Trade Center, uh, first and foremost, because I want Larry to uh, Larry Silverstein, who's turning 91 next month, to be able to cut the ribbon at both five World Trade Center and two World Trade Center, which will be the last two buildings completed at the site. Uh, five World Trade Center will be a mostly residential building, which we're doing uh, in partnership with Brookfield. And we hope to have our approvals the end of this year and, and be on a construction of that building next year. And that'll be, you know, well, about oh, 1,300 residential units. And then two World Trade Center, which will be the most state-of-the-art office building in the world uh, with almost 3 million square feet. And it'll be the, the, the shining finish to uh, the World Trade Center redevelopment that we've been at for over 22 years now. And very excited to have be to play a part in that and to be able to finish that build that whole complex yeah definitely i mean if you if there is a ribbon cutting ceremony count me and i want to be there too uh thank you so much marty for joining um and for being a power player in real estate and development thank you so much